everybody and welcome to today's video. We are on another episode of Narcos. We're starting a new season. Also, the final season. Last episode I was taken way off guard because I was not expecting for them to kill Pablo Escobar that quickly because I was like trying to use logic and saying like, oh, there's still another season so obviously we can't get him this episode. But nope, <laughs> they got him that episode. They traced him down because of the whole radio interaction with his wife. They were able to locate him that way. It was a little, it was a little tricky. Not an exact science. You know, at first they screwed up, went to the wrong house, but they finally found him and they got him. It was a very good moment, but we were missing a key player during that entire thing, which was Pena. Poor Pena. He got sent back to America and he thought he was going to be reprimanded for that. So he was not there for the capture, arrest, and shooting of Pablo. And I was like, oh, he deserved to be there to watch all of his hard work finally pay off. That was sad. Um, but the good news is he is not really getting in trouble. He got a little slap on the wrist, but he is not getting into as much trouble as Originally, I thought, I thought, it hit, like, for sure, he's getting fired, like, there's no coming back from that. Operations came down to see him and was like, what do you know about the Cali Cartel? This season, I guess the DEA is going to be going after the Cali Cartel, and Pena is going to be involved with that, which is really great. He did what he thought he had to do, you know? At the time, it's what felt, it's what he felt was right. In a way, he was punished, because he wasn't there to see Pablo being taken down. He had to hear from it on a phone call. Not exactly the greatest way to hear it. And it was sad that he couldn't be there. So, I mean, that's his punishment. There we go. <laughs> that's where we are on um, season three. So this one is called The Kingpin Strategy. We hear about what you're doing We hear about what you're doing. Oh, least, yeah. Oh, at least they're congratulating you. Okay, why is the text this big? right back, huh? Oh, it's dad! Look at you. Is this the one he was supposed to get married to? I think he was supposed to get married to somebody and he never did. Can you imagine if we were actually married? All you want to do is get out of here. Out into the world. Whether you didn't like what you found. A lot of people do. But don't try to change it. More likely. It'll change you. Hmm. It was the last time we had this conversation. You didn't listen to me uh, either. <laughs> Don't think he's gonna no. listen to you now. I'm not a hero. Oh. There were some in the hunt for Escobar. Oh, we're changing perspectives, action. I just realized. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yes, thank until you, I made that quote. Until enemy again. Ooh, wow. Until it becomes my enemy again. That's smart. I might use that in the future. <laughs> Callie's operations had grown yeah. exponentially. And as soon as Pablo was out of the picture, it's like, they're there to step in. These guys rubbed shoulders with Colombia's elite and called themselves the gentlemen of Cali. And whereas Escobar craved the spotlight, these guys stayed in the shadows. Listen, they're, they have cooler names. The gentlemen of Cali, that sounds badass. Meet the management team of the Cali cartel. Well, we know three out of four. Our truck was in charge of U.S. operations and responsible for Cali's crown jewel. New York. New York City. Yep. Miguel watched over all the money coming in and what bribes they were paying out. Ah, uh, yeah. Not least, Ooh, my voice. Cartel CEO, uh, yes. the man with the plan, Gilberto Rodriguez. They called him the chess player because he was Gilberto. always going to move ahead. Another party. You guys are throwing parties so much. <laughs> what is happening tonight? <laughs> They're gonna have like an announcement or something? Oh. He's retiring. Yeah, but he's actually trying to keep his promise. It's called a good husband. Congratulations on the promotion, sir. Tell me what you do again. Is that a promotion? Was this Never better. 
<laughs> because we've been focused on Escobar the past few years didn't mean we were completely ignoring the Cali Godfathers. What updates from Duffy? The Look, Cali Godfathers. I yes, like sir. that. Yes, you got some kind of medical condition? <laughs> Start lifting. <laughs> the latest break in the case against Cali. Does he have his Duffy own office? Damn. Damn. This dude got in trouble for conversing with the Los Pepes. But not really. He actually just got a promotion and like a new fancy office and everything. Wow, must be nice. You can always count on some poor relative in Colombia who would do whatever it takes to get their brother or son back home. Mm. All of it. Right. What's so important about tonight? I know you and Steckner have your differences. It won't be a problem. I'm not sure I share your confidence. Steckner signed off on your appointment. In fact, he wanted you back. The CIA and the DEA need to work together on this one. I'm... what? <laughs> This dude, his motives are all over the freaking place. Was that just like all part of his master plan was to get, he knew that would work to get Pena promoted? Like what? <laughs> oh, they're gonna be taping everything? <laughs> Pacha really rode up on his motorcycle with his little gang. Oh my god, he's straight to the business. Um. <laughs> Revenge for what? And here are you? Are you okay? Oh, he's the waiter. Oh, they even hooked him up to a camera. Okay, so he's taking pictures and everything. Oh, wow. That was a weird reaction. This is awkward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> that silence was too long. Stop. I can't. He is not very social, is he? I was just thinking whenever he was giving his brother that look. Yep, his brother's the social one in the family because he's like making all the friends. Ooh, this just confirmed that. Aww. Poor guy. Oh. He was getting some good pictures too. Aww. Damn, how'd they find out though? They were. Unless they had some insider info. Or they're just that good at like noticing people with cameras on them. I don't know. Yes. Mm. <laughs> that guy's like, shh, I need to hear this. organización en seis meses estará fuera del negocio de la cocaína. Oh. Entregaremos nuestros laboratorios, nuestras casas de operación y nuestras rutas de tráfico. Oh, this is interesting. Cualquier sentencia de cárcel será mínima. Nuestro dinero es nuestro. Nuestros negocios legales seguirán prosperando. Tenemos seis meses para hacer toda la plata que se pueda. That's Señores. smart. I can see like some people don't like that idea, but it is. In the long run, if you want to make it, that's how you do it. And he's, yeah, that's a really smart strategy. Y por los hijos de nuestros hijos. People aren't quite as happy, yeah. They're just kind of like. 
six months. Ah. Huh. Okay, calm down. Oh, okay, so he just spotted it out. Oh. Are you serious? They won't let him leave? Poor guy. I mean, if you think about it this way, it should only be six months, right? Really? Oh, okay, that's what I was... Oh, okay, at least it's only for the six months. I mean, he doesn't have a choice, does he? Hey, girl. Oh, my God. You again? I just got plans for Columbia. Another bloodbath. Complicated. So what is he saying? Surrender. Tell the cartel throws in the towel and hands over the keys to the biggest criminal enterprise in history. I mean, that's what they're doing, right? It has backing from Washington. Ooh. The fuck do you need me for? Well, you're the dashing DEA agent that took down Escobar. Always hopes to have a hero on board. So, yeah. Uh, Don't worry, Callie will serve some time. Huh, I give up. <laughs> Technically speaking. Technically speaking? That's enough for you. He don't care. If there were any justice in this world, Javier, you would be in jail. Yeah, okay, maybe that's true. <laughs> but still, uh, I was going to say something, but I don't remember. <laughs> I'm defeated. <laughs> I give up with this guy. <laughs> Oh, it's not gonna be him. Something's up. Yeah. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Don't answer. Somebody's definitely gonna kill him. Oh, oh okay, they just left something behind. Oh, they left photos. <laughs> I didn't want to see. Me. Answer. Why? I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Hang up. And get away from the fucking window. Oh God. Why? You're fucking watching us. Turns out that break from Cornerstone wasn't wow. much of a break. Damn. So I was right in the first place. Somebody was watching them. They basically own the fucking phone call. Wow. Operators were told to pay the U.S. Embassy in Bogota. Get a call from them. You got flagged. Oh, which is how they found on. him. It yep. was like the Soviet Union with nice weather. He even called it the Cali KGB. The Cali KGB, damn. Oh, they really control the city, don't they? Oh, no. Tapes. Uh, what? Of what? Oh my god. That, they're so smart. So now they know which ones are like, you know, talking shit and are like going to betray them. <laughs> oh, yeah, recording it. Oh my god. They got all the tapes, they got all the names, they're handling it. Oh, I think he wants to take care of it. He's like, please go take care of him so I can snatch up his wife. <laughs> I still can't believe he has a whole ass motorcycle gang. I mean, that's riding in style, I guess. Oh. What? Estoy sintiendo que las diferencias que hemos tenido van quedando atrás en el pasado. Okay. Everybody stopped to watch. They're like, what? 
least he's not afraid to be himself. They really had a display of affection. Yep. Oh no. Oh my god. I can't believe he's doing that. Holy shoot. He's like, go for it. I don't want to see him. Waiting for it to happen. No. Expanded. Oh. The wire cut you into little pieces. Ew. Fish food. Fish Not food. Buried. He must have really hated that guy. I don't know what he did, but damn. To pretend that these guys weren't just as evil as the guy that came before them. Yeah. It certainly worked for the Cali Godfathers. The Cali Godfathers. Because God forbid anyone thinks they're the bad guys. This is definitely, we're like definitely on a different level this season dealing with the Cali cartel. They're just a lot more intelligent than Pablo ever was. They are more logic based and they're quiet. They plan out things, they have their strategies, which like I can't help but kind of a little bit like, I mean, respect them and it's in a sense because of how they're doing it and how smart they are about it and getting out of the business just in time and making a deal. It's just, it's like they're they're very smart and calculated. But they are, like Pena was saying towards the end there, they're just as bad as Pablo. You know, they do the same stuff. So they should be held to the same principles that Pablo was in terms of justice and punishment, the way that they're doing it right now with them having six months left to do finish up their business and then proceed to quit and retire get to keep their money and only face like a small amount of jail time. Is that fair? Still can't get over that scene. They, that was like a medieval torture method that they did there. Did Pacho just want to try that out? I don't know. Like I said, he must have really hated the guy. There must have been something. I don't know. He said he wanted to seek revenge. Did he kill somebody in his past? I... Pfft. So it's interesting how we're switching up perspectives. Now we got Pena. He's gonna be the front runner. Proud of him. He got a promotion. That's pretty good. I still don't understand what what the heck the CIA is doing. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. Like they're trying to take down the enemy in their own weird way. But like that one guy, like what kind of a chess game is he playing? He is just, he is really picking on Pena. Like <laughs> that was a strong start to the season and a very strong introduction to the full blown power of the Cali cartel and getting a sense of how they work. All right, well, I think that's gonna be it for today's reaction. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one, so goodbye, and have a nice life.